they want to watch the air show. Yeah. Hello. How's it going? Say cheese. Cheese. Yeah. You're, you're on camera. Wisconsin cheddar curd. But tell me about this, about this part. Yeah, the bottom, this is a little crest area right here. The bottom portion is the where the pilot sleeps at. And the top portion is our uh, Loadmaster sleeping area right here. <laughs> Up here we have an uh, escape hatch. That's how a maintenance can go check on, make sure you have icing or something, or need to do maintenance up there, they go up there and check it out. Okay. And that's what we go through right there. We have some additional crew member seating right here. Yeah. And uh, got your oxygen mask here, decompression, in case you need those. Yes. There's all switches right here for our fire system right here. I want to be left seat. Yeah. We actually swap all the time, so oh, actually yeah. some of our more experienced pilots sit over here. Okay. This guy reads the checklist. Okay. Uh, absolutely. So welcome aboard the C-17 Globemaster. Uh, so this is the Air Force's second largest transport aircraft. We do a wide range of both strategic and tactical missions. In the back, you can turn that into a flying hospital. You can carry troops, cargo, tanks, helicopters, you name it, if it fits its ships. We have four Pratt & Whitney engines. The same engines as a 757, but we have twice as many. Uh, so over 160,000 pounds of thrust to get into and out of very short airfields anywhere in the world. That's good. Yeah. So fly-by-wire, so it handles like a sports car. Yeah. Uh, very capable aircraft. Yeah. You know, like the C5, it's like a Cadillac. This one's like a sports car. <laughs> yeah, this is more of the Dodge Charger, I'd say, uh, if you're comparing cars. Yeah. yeah. Gets the job done. It's a workhorse. This one's 25 years old. Yeah. Absolutely. Please. Well, well thank you for, for that. Your name is? Logan Siska. Logan Siska. Yeah, right, Patterson, Ohio. Thank you. Of course.